So this is the next question about uh, relation between T gate and uh, rotation gate about uh, Z axis. Okay. So here first let me take a uh, rotation gate about uh, Z axis that is R Z of uh, theta which is e raised to minus i theta by 2 0 0 e raised to i theta by 2. Right. So now uh, here they have given theta is a uh, pi by 4. So this implies r z of pi by 4 I am taking which is e raised to minus i pi by 8 because I have to substitute theta equal to pi by 4. So 0 and 0 here it is e raised to i pi by 8. Now in this I am going to take the common that is e raised to minus i pi by 8 common then it is a 1 0 0 e raised to i pi by 4. If you observe carefully, this is nothing but a T gate. Okay, so this is the T gate. So finally, we can write R Z of pi by four. That means a rotation about Z axis through an angle pi by four equal to e raised to minus i pi by eight into T. So bring this T this side. That means a T equal to e raised to i pi by eight into R Z of pi by 4 as it okay so, right so here we have some uh, phase global phase e raised to i phi where this uh, phi equal to pi by 8 so this is the next question so this they have they are asking to uh, show that the head mod gate can be written as product of uh, rx and rz and uh, some more uh, phase difference that is e raised to i phi okay so first let me take uh, the rotational matrices of uh, Rx and uh, Rz. Okay. So here Rz of theta equal to e raised to minus i theta by 2, 0, 0 e raised to i theta by 2. And uh, if you take the rotational matrix about x axis, this is uh, cos theta by 2 minus i sin theta by 2 and uh, this is also minus i sin theta by 2 and here cos theta by 2. Now I am taking the product uh, th like this that is r z of theta and here r x of theta and next r z of theta. So let me multiply these uh, three matrices okay. So here you will get e raised to minus i theta by 2 0 0 e raised to i theta by 2 and the second matrix that is cos theta by 2 minus i sin theta by 2 and minus i sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Let me write these matrices. Right. So while you are multiplying just carefully uh, observe here we have e raised to minus i theta by 2 and this is also e raised to minus i theta by 2. So finally here we will get the first element e raised to minus i theta cos theta by 2 and the next element I am talking about this middle matrix I mean the middle one that is a minus i sin theta by 2 no change and here also no change minus i sin theta by 2 and the next fourth element uh, similarly here we have e raised to i theta by 2 and this is e raised to i theta by 2. So after multiplying you will get e raised to i theta sorry e raised to i theta cos theta by 2. Right. So here I am taking this uh, theta value as uh, pi by 2. Then this is r z of theta r x of theta into rz of theta. So now I am substituting theta equal to pi by 2. So then what I will get here? So this is nothing but e raised to minus i pi by 2 which is nothing but minus i cos pi by 4 1 over root 2 and here again minus i and here also minus i. So but here it is i imaginary but overall 1 over root 2 is a common but still it is not equal to Hadamard gate. So if I want to get this Hadamard gate, 
So on both sides, I'm multiplying with the uh, i imaginary. So this is i rz of theta rx of theta into rz of theta, which is nothing but once you multiply, you'll get uh, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1 over root 2, which is nothing but head mod gate. So here, uh, this head mod gate can be written as the product of uh, this one. Okay, so and they are asking this uh, i, i can be written as uh, e raised to i pi by 2 and whatever the question, uh, we have this uh, phi, this uh, phi is nothing but a phase that is a pi by 2. Okay, so we can solve this problem in another way also. Okay, so we can solve this uh, problem in another way also. So here I am defining uh, the rotational operator. So the general rotational operator about an arbitrary direction, let us take n cap, okay, through an angle theta. This is nothing but e raised to minus i theta by 2 and this is a, a sigma bar dot uh, n cap. So for example, if you want to get r about z axis through an angle theta, this is nothing but e raised to minus i theta by 2 z. Similarly, here we need one more that is rx of theta about x axis. This can be written as e raised to minus i theta by 2 into x. Okay, so let us take this and uh, we have already derived this relation. This is nothing but this can be written as capital I that is identity cos theta by 2 minus I imaginary sin theta by 2 into a sigma bar dot uh, n cap. Okay, so by using this relation, I can write rewrite this as cos theta by 2 minus i sin theta by 2 into a z, okay, Pauli z matrix. And similarly, this also can be written as cos theta by 2 minus i sin theta by 2 Pauli x matrix. Right now, I am taking this uh, Rz of pi by 2 because already earlier we have seen that Z is equal to pi, uh, sorry, theta equal to pi by 2 we have taken. So, this Rz of pi by 2 can be written as capital I. So, here I forgot capital I. Right. So, identity this is a cos pi by 4 minus I sin pi by 4 into a Z. And the next matrix is Rx of uh, pi by 2. Again, I have to take a uh, capital I cos pi by 4. This time minus I a sine pi by 4. Again, this is X. Okay. And uh, one more time, we have to take Rz pi by 2. So, which is the same as I cos uh, pi by 4 minus I sine pi by 4 into Z. Okay, now I'm going to write this as cos pi by 4 sin pi by 4, I can take it as a 1 by root 2. So then remaining is i minus ij imaginary into poly z matrix. Similarly, this is 1 over root 2 i minus i x and this also 1 over root 2 i minus ij. I am going to I am going to just multiply these uh, three matrices that implies Rz pi by 2, Rx pi by 2, Rz pi by 2. This is the left hand side and the right hand side if you see this is 1 by 2 root 2. So here I am getting 1 by 2 root 2 and after that we have to multiply these two in the order. Okay. So this is i minus ij into i minus imaginary x and identity minus imaginary z. Okay, so let me multiply. This is 1 by 2 root 2. So here, first let me multiply uh, these two. That is i minus ix minus ij plus 
uh, i into i i square that is again minus minus uh, zx okay so after that again we have one more multiplication that is with the uh, i minus ij oh sorry actually whenever you are multiplying you have to multiply from this uh, uh, this side okay first we have to multiply those two so then it will be 1 over 2 root 2 i minus ij okay and this one if you multiply these two you'll get i uh, minus imaginary x and minus imaginary j and this next one again minus xz you will get so now we are going to multiply these two so finally 1 over 2 root 2 so i minus ix minus ij minus xz just a multiply with the identity the entire term and the next i am going to multiply with this uh, ij so minus ij and again minus i zx next again uh, minus z square which is nothing but i identity and after that minus minus plus i z x z that's it so z x z is nothing but uh, a minus i x so this z into x z the product of uh, uh, Pauli spin matrices this one is nothing but a minus i x so if you substitute all these things you will get 1 over 2 root 2 so finally you will get a minus 2 i x minus 2 i z okay so the two will be cancelled and after that i will multiply on both sides with the uh, i so here minus i by root 2 common so which is nothing but x plus z if i multiply on both sides with the i then finally we can write so this side if you multiply with i here okay so then here also you have to multiply with the i so which becomes uh, 1 by root 2 x plus z 1 by root 2 x plus z is nothing but the head mod gate okay right so this is an alternate way to get to show that the head mod gate is the product of rx and uh, rz rotations okay and here also i and finally this is nothing but a head mark